Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into the New England Sports Center. It's Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. And this afternoon, they take on the Medway Mustangs, and up for grabs is the TVL title. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call, Mike Tarosian, our cameraman for this evening's game. And Eric, the last time these two teams met up, it was a Hopkinton 5-3 victory. But of course, that was much earlier in the season. A lot has changed then. Medway, they got off to a little bit of a slow start, but they have strung together some wins, and they are on a solid four-game winning streak. Yeah, Medway's always tough, Tom, year in and year out. And I don't care if you're a pro, or an amateur, or a high school player, when you've got a title on the line, uh, both teams are going to leave it all out here tonight on the ice. And of course, Medway plays in Division Two in the playoff bracket. Hopkinton in Division Three on the season. The Hillers 14 wins, two losses, and a tie. Medway 12 wins, five losses, and a tie. But again, Medway with a much tougher regular season schedule as well. The last time these two teams met up was back on January 13th, and it was a five to three. Hillers win, but Medway is hoping to get some revenge here today. Let's send it down to the ice right now. Again, Hillers and NIA, running by all pitchers as well as players. Everything's not their match. Is expected to be very much insane. Those four pitchers are expected to explain all times. To the 15th, coaches and players are all being officials. They all have an idea about their sites, but they finish the work of Conway. They're actually spectators in time for the players, coaches, and players of those spectators. There's our group session. Also, these are our group session. They've got to play. That's our whole team. Let's go, boys! Now, let's get a starting line. For your visiting, Medway Mustangs. Starting defense, number three, Ryan D. Christopher. Starting defense number nine, Colin Stover. <laughs> Starting left wing number 15, Nate Steinhoff. <laughs> Starting center number 17, James Anderson. <laughs> Starting right wing number 19, Colin Curley. <laughs> and your third goal center for your Mustang, number 31, TJ Lanoux. Head coach of the Mr. Chris Ross. Now, let's meet your hometown Hillers. Starting defense, number three, Matt Rennigler. Starting defense, number six, Andrew Gilbert. Starting left wing, number 15, Steve Simon. You start center, number 17, DJ Sloan. Starting right wing, number 22, Will Adams. And starting goal, number 31, your captain, Dylan O'Leary. Head coach of the Hillers, Mr. Chris McPherson. Would you all please rise for our national anthem?
And there you have it. We are ready for hockey here at the New England Sports Center. The Hopkinton Hillers and the Medway Mustangs. This has been an especially great rivalry throughout the last few years as both teams have strung together some very good seasons. Eric, what are your thoughts heading into this matchup here today? Well, normally you'd be concerned, Tom, the Hillers are coming off two blowout wins, 9-0 uh, and 7-0, so you'd normally be concerned that uh, there'd be a letdown, but uh, there's no, no need to worry about that tonight. The Hillers know what they got to do, and with a title on the line, they're going to be ready to go. And both teams are red hot, both on four-game winning streaks, and the last time the Hopkinton Hillers played, they put up 35 shots on the Medway Mustangs, and that was a season high for the Hillers. Went out again. As we are underway, Hopkinton working in the Medway zone. Into the corner they go. Pass around over to Simos. Simos gets it over to the corner to Sloan. And now out in front of the net, Simos able to get a shot off, but Lanou is able to get his Pat on it, and that is going to be an icing. So the Hillers aggressive early to start things off. Yeah, I'm sure the uh, the coaches know what's at stake here. I'm sure they had the kids prepped all week long for this, so there's not going to be any, any chance of a letdown here for the Hillers. They're going to be coming out strong. Sean Walsh on the faceoff for Hopkinton up against Dan Harrington for Medway. Shot from the left circle. It's popped up by a defenseman. Out of play it goes. Looks like one change for Midway, Tom. The uh, Mustangs had Colin Curley. He's listed as a uh, defenseman. He's a second leading scorer. It looks like he started on left wing tonight, so they might be looking to get a little more offense out right off the bat. Coming around the net, DeFonzo for the Mustangs. Here he comes up the near side as he skates by Walsh. Into the left circle, over to the corner, trying to get around Connor Delaney, and O'Leary has to wrap that one up. That quick deflection in front off his defenseman. O'Leary is ready. In case you missed it, your starters for Medway will get you those in just a moment as Mustangs in the Hiller zone, now cleared out to the neutral zone. For Medway, it's Brian D. Cristoforo and Colin Stover, the defenseman, left winger is Nate Steinhoff, center James Anderson, Colin Curley, the right winger, and TJ Lanou, the goaltender for the Medway Mustangs. For the Hopkinton Hillers, Matt Lindquist and Andrew Gilbert, the defenseman, left winger Steven Simos, center DJ Sloan, right wing Will Abbott, and of course in net Dylan O'Leary. That one is knocked up by Bullen and handled by Connor Delaney. Over on the far side, Di Cristoforo. Back to the Hiller zone we go, behind the net. It's Curly trying to get it out from behind the net. And we'll get a whistle. Looks like we're going to have a penalty. A little aggressive there, especially you, you know, coaches hate that when they get a penalty in the offensive zone. So Saparoshitz is going to head over. Well, That's on Medway. Oh, OK, on Medway. I thought I might have saw a sticking there on the Hiller's side. So they might have got away with one, but Jeremy Curley is the one heading to the box. Hillers will take it, early power play. Top of the circle out in front of the net. Sloan trying to put it in, and that was nearly lodged into the corner. De Cristoforo was able to get a stick on it. Dylan O'Leary is going to place it over towards the corner. Now handled by Lindquist. Up around the net, Sloan. Sloan coming down the near side. Into the neutral zone he goes, showing off the wheels. On the left circle, he's looking for the shot, and he's not able to get that shot off, and now it's covered up by Lanou. Real good patience here by Sloan. As in. He had his puck down below the goal line. He waited for Medway to kind of back off, and then he was able to utilize his speed to get right in and around him, almost yeah. out in front. Straight out missed that shot. Sloan up against Harrington. Simos gets it to the blue line. Connor Delaney puts that wide to the right. Little Abbott trying to place it. Back into the Hiller's defensive zone. That is picked up by Connor Delaney. Connor Delaney leaves it for Simos as he's contested by Colin Curley. It's back over to Sloan. Here comes Sloan. Has a whole lot of speed coming up the ice. 
Well defended there by Stover. Up the near side, Sloan. And that shot was by Saparoshitz. O'Leary will place it. Gets it over towards Abbott. And here comes Abbott working against Anderson. Now it's Sloan once again. Sloan into the corner. Up around the net, placing it for Abbott, and Abbott shot wide to the left. Back to the blue line now. Saparosha shots diverted by Anderson. Out in front, and that's a goal. It looks like Will Abbott was able to put that one in. Nice pass by Hunter Temple behind the net, just waited for Abbott to cut in. And for Abbott, that's expected to send a streak to 13 straight games, Tom. He's been on fire all season. 11.41 left to go in the first period. A beauty of a pass by Hunter Temple. Leads to a Will Abbott goal. And the Hillers off to an early lead. The 41st point of the season by Will Abbott. 26 goals. We get a whistle off the faceoff for Hunter Temple. That's his ninth assist. I think the only game that Abbott hasn't had a point this year was the first Hollison game. Other than that, he scored on the wall and had multiple points in most of them. And that is what the Hillers wanted to do, get off to a fast start. And they have done so as that one is popped up behind the Medway net. Coming out around is Hamlet, trying to leave it behind for Temple. Back to the neutral zone we go. Up the board, Sheamus. Now Di Cristoforo trying to dig it out. That's back towards Sheamus. How about Will Abbott? Saw the opportunity, just poked that one in. It looked like the front of his stick off a of beauty of a pass by Temple. Yeah, but the only place it could go was five hole. DeFonso in a chase down with Simos to the corner. Fonzo tripped up. Abbott is able to handle it, and now we're going to get a whistle. It looks like Simos is going to go for a hooking. Now the Hillers took advantage of a power play. We'll see if Medway can. The special teams is going to be key tonight, though. Both teams are going to need to take advantage of that because they're pretty good even strength. DJ Sloan up against James Anderson. Hiller's on the power play kill. And we get a whistle. We'll have another face off in the neutral zone. Sloan up against Dominic DeFonzo. And that will switch it up. It'll be James Anderson for Metro. Back to the far side, DiCristoforo chases it down. Abbott out in front of DiCristoforo. Now over to the near side to DeFonzo. DeFonzo puts that off the board. Abbott over to Saparoshitz. Saparoshitz gets it back to the Medway zone. DeFonzo picks it up. He's going to go around the net with it. Both, team, both teams being real aggressive, Tom, on the penalty kill. Here comes Ryan Norton on the attack, looking for a shot there. It's diverted by the defender, Drew Saparoshitz. Back to the blue line, DiCristoforo trying to get a shot off. And now Abbott with an opportunity here. Abbott up against DiCristoforo, into the corner they go. And now they are both locked up as it is knocked loose by James Anderson. Here comes the Mustangs, Colin Curley trying to leave it in the slot, no one there. Abbott picks it up on the far side, and now it's Carter Fisher for Medway. He goes over to Stover. Stover over to Bullen. And Medway looking for a shot here, but James Curley is diverted. Nice defensive play by Andrew Gilbert. Abbott trying for the backhanded pass. That one knocked across by Stover. Mustangs trying to take advantage of a power play. They got 25 seconds left on the power play. 
Here comes Stover. Long shot there. That was off a defenseman. Yeah, Medway's getting lucky here. I saw at least two that they could have been called for on that power play that they had. We will have a face-off in the right circle. It'll be Sean Walsh for the Hillers up against Dan Harrington for Medway. Switch it up, Brian Bullen now in there for Medway. Out in front, a backhander by Curley is just wide to the left. Put it into the corner by Bullen. Now up behind the net. Some good defensive work there by Connor Delaney. Delaney able to knock it loose towards Wall. Back to the blue line it goes, DeCristoforo got a stick on it, now to Bullen, and we're gonna get the whistle here for the offside. Yeah, big play by Delaney. Took on two Medway defenders there. Was just able to out-muscle them and get that puck just over the blue line, enough for the whistle. Hiller's gonna switch things up. They have officially killed off the power play. It's a great defensive work. Will Quinlan, Kyle Rogers, and Griffin Zach into the game. Here comes DeCristoforo. Top of the circle, glove saved by O'Leary. Well, Medway putting a bit of pressure on after the Hillers came out firing in all cylinders. With Zach up against McCarthy. Over to the corner. Kyle Rogers got a stick on it. Now it's Quinlan. Putting that back towards Rogers, but Stover steals it away. Out of the near side, De Cristoforo knocks it up the board. Connor Delaney around the net. Back over to Rogers. Rogers pops it forward towards Griffin Zach. Zach meets up with Stover. On the far side, Connor Delaney. And that is popped up by Rogers and saved by Lanoue. So far, Tom, other than the, uh, the Abbott goal, all the play's been out on the periphery. Yeah, both teams have had some shots, but they haven't been really threatening. They're both uh, playing tight D, making sure that nobody's getting any free shots on net. Hillers looking for a shot here. It's 4-3 as far as shots on goal in favor of the Hillers. 1-0 lead for Hopkinton. 7.45 and counting left to go in the first period. The battle along the corner. DJ Sloan in there for the Hillers. Here comes Medway. Steinhoff with possession. Up the far side goes Nate Steinhoff. Trying to leave that out to the slot towards Colin Curley, but it's stolen away. Quick break, Simos. He's going to pop that just wide to the right of the net. Abbott falls into the corner. Now Sloan over there as well trying to get possession. And it's up to the top of the circle. That was Lindquist looking for a shot. Here comes James Anderson. Met with a hard hit into the corner by Temple. Now falling with it is Steinhoff. Left out towards the slot. Picked up by Sloan. Sloan puts that one up the far side. Temple. Comes across and trying to establish some possession. Mustangs get it back. Medway trying to get the puck out of their zone as quick as possible. Here comes Sean Walsh, and Walsh lifts that one and glove saved by Lanou. Yeah, the speed of both teams, Tom, they just, defensively, got to be real careful here. Just they got to make sure they're not hitting shin pads and sending the other team the other way. They got to get that puck down low, let the forwards go after it, because both teams with their speed are going to be able to take advantage of any mistakes. Around the net is Stover. It's that back to the opposite end. Temple got to stick on it. And Stover putting it up the near side, and that'll draw the whistle. They figured early on there'd be a little bit more body contact, but uh, that big hit there by Linquist was really the first big check of the game, and we're almost uh, six, only six minutes left in the first period. The team's trying to feel each other a little bit. And, uh, I'm sure the checking will pick up, though, as we uh, proceed oh, here sure. further. Right. These two teams, they always play a physical game. John Walsh up against Harrington. Up behind the net, Temple. Temple trying to dig it out of there. Cristoforo knocks that one up the near side. Walsh, surrounded by Mustangs. That's popped off the board out of play as it hits the ceiling. Face off with 6.01 left to go. 
Well, the Hillers, they came out very aggressive, and now Medway's starting to realize this team's fast. We've got to keep the puck out of our zone. Nate Steinoff on the faceoff, up against DJ Sloan. Hillers, absolutely incredible off the faceoff. Lindquist along the near side. Puts that one towards Gilbert. Backhander by Simos. It's handled by Fisher. To the near side we go. James Anderson looking for the shot there. O'Leary diverts it. Jammed up in the corner. Medway has possession here. O'Leary gets the glove on it and then knocks that one behind the net. That was Colin Curley on that shot attempt. Up the far side we go. Abbott has a chance at it. Over to the circle he goes. Backhands it on top of the net. Still in play, trying to leave it out in the corner. Some good defensive work by the Mustangs that quickly get down towards Will Abbott, who is the last person you'd want to have an open shot on net. Yeah, he almost got that one in time. That kind of trickled off the crossbar and just went over the top. That was with one hand. Defonso coming up the near side. Stolen away, Hamblet. Medway gets it back, Fisher. Temple puts it back into the Medway zone. Defonso behind the net, up against Hamblet. Defonso up towards Curley. Saparoshitz puts it back, and now Walsh backhands it as well. Over to the near side towards Curley. Hillers, for the most part, I think, uh, dominated possession-wise. They've kept the puck pretty much in the Medway zone. There was maybe a, a minute or so where Medway had possession working in their favor, but yeah. not yeah. so much. And the Hill is, Tom, they've been uh, back-checking really well. Steve Simons has already had two breakups uh, coming back, and Will Abbott had one on the, uh, the last little flurry there. So the Hill is knowing that they've got to come back to help out their D-men, and they're doing a great job at that. Slowing up against Harrington, top of the circle, and that is handled along the near side by Bullen. Bullen leaves it behind. Dan Harrington trying to establish possession. Hillers get it back as Abbott and Lindquist both got a stick on it. And along the far side. Hard hit into the boards there. Over to the circle it goes. And there's a shot on net. A good save by O'Leary. That's put around by Sloan. As Ryan Norton met with a hard hit. But Medway getting a couple shots on net here. Back to the neutral zone, handled by De Cristoforo. Trying to come up the far side, slowing away by Simos. Simos on a break, and leaves it towards Abbott. Abbott with the back pass towards Delaney. Up back to Simos. Abbott on the left circle, Rister, and that one is diverted by the defenseman, De Cristoforo. Jammed up along the corner now, handled by Curley. Curley coming up quickly, pass to the near side of Anderson. James Anderson looking for the shot. The body save there by Connor Delaney. In the slot, Brian Bullen with the backhander around the net. Connor Delaney puts it towards the near side. Jammed up is Hamlet. For sure with possession, pass over to Stover. Mustangs trying to attack here. Steinhoff gets a shot off and O'Leary's going to wrap that one up. Yeah, again, the Hill is Tom just able to keep Medway's just about all their shots from the outside, and O'Leary's going to be able to stop all those all day long. 2.51 left to go in the first period. It's Hopkinton Hillers, varsity hockey on H cam. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call, Mike Terosian on camera. And this is a crucial game for the TVL title. A winner tie for the Hillers equals the TVL title. That one's knocked out of play. We get a new puck. On the faceoff for Hopkinton, Griffin, Zach up against Jack McCarthy from Medway. Coming up the far side, Rogers. Bonzo handles it. Jammed up along the corner. Connor Delaney up against Fisher. 
Coming away with it was Curley. Now down the far side, Dwyer, and O'Leary comes way out of the net. O'Leary saw the break by Dwyer and came way out of the net there, Eric. You typically don't see him come that far out. No, he, I think he realized the speed Medway was coming with, and he thought he could get there, and he did get there first. It looks like Medway's going to be short-handed again here. Yeah, we had some pushing and shoving along the far side, and we're going to have a Mustang heading to the penalty box. So Tommy will be Dwyer. matching. And Hiller's going to send one, too. Griffin Zach, so we'll have a four-on-four. Yeah, you got to make sure that uh, if you're going to come out like that, that you are going to be the one to get there. And, and Dylan was determined that he was going to get there first. Certainly was. I'm seeing five Mustangs out there right now. Five on four, it looks like. Well, at least that's what someone from the Medway bench was saying. Now the official's going to talk about this because you got one in the box for both teams, so... It should be four on four, unless there is. Yeah, unless it was a double, that would be the only reason. But they should also have another man in the box if that's the case. All right, so. I think Midway's going to have to put another player in if they had a double. Hillers are going to have the man advantage, it looks like. Five on four in favor of the Hillers. In the corner, De Cristoforo. It's put back towards Lindquist along the far side. A little backhand it down. Handled by the defenseman. Puts it back to the Hiller's zone. That's off of O'Leary. Connor Delaney will pick it up in the corner. Delaney over to Simos. Simos turns it around. Right back up over the head of Delaney. 145 and counting left in the period. One and a half left on the Hiller's power play. And now here comes Sloan. Sloan on a quick break. We'll turn it around. Back to Lindquist. Now top of the circle, Connor Delaney with the wrister, and that one's wrapped up by Lanou. Okay, it looks like the call was going to be kneeing on O'Leary when O'Leary came out. And both players kind of collided, and it looks like the, his first penalty was for kneeing, and then the roughing after that. Medway does now have two in the box, too, as Paul Theodore is also in the penalty box. Jammed up along the corner. Alfonso able to knock it loose. 105 left to go on the power play. Connor Delaney behind the net leaves it for Simos. Here comes Simos. Up the far side he goes. Turns it around back to the blue line of Lindquist. Now Simos. He's behind for Abbott who's met with a hit. Back to Lindquist. Lindquist jammed up along the corner. Trying to knock that one loose. Puts it off the boards. Picked up by Sloan. Sloan swings it around to the blue line. Connor Delaney with a shot here, and that one's wide to the left. Simos contested there by Curley. And it squirts out into the Hiller zone. Picked up by Lindquist. Over to Sloan. 15 seconds left to go in the first period. As Sloan comes down and lifts that one a little bit too high. Temple met with a hit on the near side. And that one will be wrapped up. Medway is doing a real good job on the penalty kill, Tom. They're being real aggressive and forcing the Hillers to turn it over. The Hillers are going to have to try to move the puck just a little bit quicker to find the open man here. Face off on the near side circle with eight seconds left. Both teams now at even strength as well. Jammed up in the circle, out of the corner. Just over in there for Medway. He's able to get it out to Harrington, and that's going to do it for the first period. The Hopkinton Hillers take the one nothing lead early on with 11.41 left, courtesy of a Will Abbott goal and a, and a great assist by Hunter Temple. Eric, any thoughts on that first period? A good first period for the Hillers. Uh, they definitely came out and you know, established their forecheck early. They've done a great job uh, back checking. Uh, they just want to be real careful. They've had a couple turnovers at the blue line, and that's about the only thing that's going to get Medway back in the game here is if they catch a break going the other way. The Hillers just have to be careful with, with that puck and not get any extra opportunities for the Mustangs. Well, it should be a very interesting uh, next two periods. 
And uh, right now, the Hillers, I think they have the momentum in their favor, but of course, we know how much talent Medway has. Should be a whole lot of fun, so you're gonna wanna stick around. The Hopkinton Hillers after one, leading Medway one to nothing. It's Hopkinton Hillers, Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAN. Every winter in New England, we have an increase in cases of carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is a gas that's indetectable to our senses and can make you very sick or even kill you in a short period of time. Fortunately, carbon monoxide poisoning is entirely preventable. Ensure that you have your heating system and other home equipment maintained and inspected annually. Never operate gas-powered equipment indoors and never barbecue indoors. Make sure to have working carbon monoxide alarms on every floor of your house and within 15 feet of every bedroom door. They should be tested monthly. When snow falls, take care to make sure that chimneys, heating and dryer outlets are clear of snow so that exhaust can exit. Similarly, shovel out your car's exhaust and never allow children or other people to sit in an idle car while you're shoveling it out. If your carbon monoxide alarm ever goes off, don't ignore it. Exit your house and call the fire department. By following these steps, you can protect your family this winter. Two, one. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center. We are just about ready for the second period. A 1-0 Hopkinton Hillers lead over the Medway Mustangs. The goal came pretty early on, 11.41 left. A beauty of a pass from behind the net by Hunter Temple. He found Will Abbott, and Abbott found the net for his 26th time this season. But after that, it was really back and forth momentum shifts. And the Mustangs had some good shots on net as well. So I have a feeling this game is going to be a back and forth affair all night long. As coming up the near side, Steve Simos. And we are underway in the second period. Medway on a break here. Bullen to the left circle. And he risked that one wide to the left. And trying to turn it around was Ryan Norton. Up behind the net it goes. And I'm sure during the intermission, uh, Medway <laughs> was talking about how they have to be more aggressive as Sloan comes up to the left circle. Here comes Harrington, puts that over to the far side, and that one's lifted up by Bullen, and O'Leary got the glove on that one. Up towards Abbott, who's met with a hard hit. Now Fisher is gonna chase it down. Mustangs look like they're bringing the speed early on in the second period, Eric. Yeah, I think they were definitely told to come out with a little more aggressiveness on the forecheck, and it looks like they've showed that already. A shot wide to the right by Sloan. Turned around by Sloan, and Lanou had to knock that one away. Up the far side, Defonso. Sloan puts it back to the Medway zone. Into the corner, it's Hamblet. Hamblet up against Fisher. Able to dig that one out. Now it's back to Hamblet. We'll take it around the net. Puts it to the blue line of Connor Delaney, and then it's poked out by Anderson looking for the break. Connor Delaney and Anderson on the chase down, and Delaney gets to it first. Over to Saperoshitz, and then a hard hit into the boards along the near side. Digging it out, however, is Hunter Temple. That one wristed up in the air by Defonso. Put around the net by Curley. Picked up by Hamlet. There's Connor Delaney. Near side, Temple. Up the boards he goes. Attempts out a shot there by Stover. Back to the Medway zone. Chasing it down in the corner, Stover. Definitely a little more jump of the Mustangs uh, skates this period, Tom. Maybe a shot here. Curly was looking for a shot, but O'Leary said nope. Sloan picks it up. O'Leary comes out of the net again to set it up. Medway's going to be down a man here. And trip. And O'Leary coming towards the near side. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Well, there's going to be a penalty call, so they're putting the extra guy out until Medway gets possession. Here they go, six on five, and now we'll get a whistle. It's kind of an inadvertent there, the Medway player. I didn't see which one it was, but he just got a stick underneath the skates. I haven't seen that one before, pull the goalie out. Yeah, they'll do that because as soon as Medway touches the puck, the whistle's right. blown dead. So, Long Makes way for O'Leary to skate, though, this period. All the way to the other end. <laughs> he really had a hustle to get out of there. 
Connor Delaney goes to the neutral zone. Pass back over to Abbott. Abbott up the far side. That seems like a situation that Hiller's trained for as well. Well, Larry knew exactly what to do. Lindquist puts that to the corner. Sloan trying to dig that one out. A couple of Mustangs and a couple of Hillers into the corner. Get a nice view of the student section over there as well. Big, big turnout for, for this afternoon's game. 4 p.m. start for today's game. Let's put a cross over to Sloan. Sloan lifts it towards Simos. Simos takes a hard hit into the corner, and Stover will put it around the boards. Well, Larry tripped up trying to get to it. He's, he's come out of the net a lot today. And I think he's got a little skate issue, too. That's two times he stumbled. To Lindquist. Lindquist taking it up. Over to the left circle. Back towards Sloan. Sloan looking for the shot, and that one's turned away. And then jammed up along the corner of the net. Lindquist is able to get it out. Puts it towards Abbott. Abbott trying to leave that one out in front. That's poked out by Sloan. To the blue line we go. And it's taken by Medway. Anderson on a break. But uh, Gilbert, Gilbert's going to go here for a trip or a slash. Yeah, Gilbert got the stick in there trying to stop Anderson from having a break. And that'll put Medway on a power play. Will be at even strength for the next 24 seconds, and then Medway will have a power play. Yeah, the, the power play, the Hill is just going to have to move that puck a lot quicker, Tom. Medway is just so aggressive, they're coming right at the Hill, so they're going to have to move that puck as fast as they can to the open player. Sean Walsh up against Dan Harrington. Harrington trying to jam it out of the corner. Leaves it out in front. Great defensive play there, but a shot from the left circle wide to the left. Drew Saperoschitz had a nice defensive play to prevent that shot. And Temple puts that up the far side. Back to the Hiller's zone. And Medway officially on the power play for the next minute, 26. Put out in front, no one there. Connor Delaney gets a stick on it. And that'll draw the Mustangs to it in their own zone as Stover there sets it up. Stover, up the far side to De Cristoforo. De Cristoforo, trying to turn it around. Looking towards the slot, goes to the top of the circle and said, that one off of O'Leary on the curly attempt. Picked up on the near side by Defonso, looking for the shot from the high slot. And the wrister diverted by a defender. Connor Delaney got out in front of it and now jammed up along the corner of the net. O'Leary will cover it up. A little more purpose on the uh, midway shots now as they're getting some uh, good quality attempts on the power play here. Colin Curley was trying to poke it through. 52 seconds left on the power play. Medway trying desperately to take advantage and tie this game up. 9.34 left to go in the second period. Let's put up the far side by Lindquist. De Cristoforo chases it down. He'll set it up behind the net. Over to the near side. Abbott trying to establish possession. It's turned away by Harrington, and De Cristoforo takes over from there. Back to the corner we go. Harrington. Harrington and De Cristoforo trying to work their way up ice, and now along the near side, Afonso. Top of the circle, that wrister just wide to the left. Sloan. He's able to find Abbott. Abbott on a quick break. Abbott to the right circle. Some good stick work, but a nice defensive play there by Medway. Getting out in front of it was Dominic DeFonzo. And that has been Medway's strategy all day. Just stay out in front of Will Abbott. Don't let him burn you. <laughs> yeah, just a great kill there by the Hellers. Good, that's what you call a positional kill. The Hellers were in the right spots, taking up the lanes, and they were able to pick off a couple passes and break Medway up. People from getting into the hill are in there. 832 left to go in the second period. Kind of a back and forth second period. We'll have a whistle prior to the face-off. 
Griffith Zach up against Jack McCarthy. Along the corner. Chasing that one down to Quinlan. Quinlan trying to leave it out in the slot. It's taken away. Quick break for McCarthy. McCarthy up the far side. Puts that one to the left of the net. And trying to put it back. And Larry had to get a stick on that. Up the far side, Zach. Put off the boards by Stover. Stover. Moves that one into Lindquist. Edway trying to establish possession here, but these Hillers defenders doing some good work in this second period, and they have certainly been busy as well. Turned around by Quinlan. To the corner, picked up by Norton. Now a quick break here. Off of the left circle, number of Hillers in front of the path of Bullen, and it's stolen away. Great defensive play by Lindquist here, taking the man right off the boards. It's Hamlet trying to work his way up the boards. A shot from the right circle is turned away. Sean Walsh on the attempt there. Picked up by Gilbert. He goes over towards Hamlet. Hamlet turns it around. Lindquist now working his way up ice. Lindquist up the near side, doing some battle with Norton. Put it in the corner, around the net, picked up by DeCristoforo. DeCristoforo coming up the far side boards. On to the circle, and that shot turned away by O'Leary, and we'll have a whistle. That was a near goal there, but O'Leary did a great job in net. Yeah, they kind of, I don't know if they would have let that one stand there. The Medway player went right into O'Leary and knocked the net off. But good, the Medway's definitely being more aggressive, and they know what they got to do. They got to go to the net if they're going to score here. Medway leading in shots on goal, 11 to 7, 6 to 5 in favor of the Hillers after the first period. Hopkinton has been very busy defensively. As Sloan comes around, a shot here from the right circle. That one covered up by O'Leary. What a save. James Anderson on a beauty of a shot. He's trying to go five hole. And I'd say that's the closest to a goal Medway's had so far today. Yeah, they're really uh, being more aggressive on the Hillers as they try to break out here. Hillers got to be careful of the breakouts. Along the near side, Simo's trying to get to it. And it's covered up by Lanou. 6.21 left to go in the second period. A 1-0 Hillers lead, but Medway continuing to threaten. Nate Steinhoff up against Sloan. Abbott with a high slot. Now Simos with a shot. That one turned away by Lanou. And then the attempt at a backhander by Sloan is diverted by a defender. Nice defensive work once again by Dominic DeFonso. Saparoshitz from the blue line, and it's club save Lanou. Yeah, a couple of rebounds here. If the Hillers can keep that puck down low and keep uh, the off wingers down in front there, I think they'll be able to get a rebound goal in here. The goalies seem to be giving up. Abbott. That one turned away. Puck is loose, picked up by Sloan, turned around. Lanou gets the leg pad on that one, jammed up in the corner, and we'll get a whistle. I think Simos is going to be going for a hook here. The hill is down. Yeah, and Simos actually appears to be hurt as well. A little shooken up. The faceoff will be in the Hiller's end. And it appears Simos is coming out for a penalty. Medway once again on the power play. That shot turned away. It's Brian Bullen. Over to the near side. Sloan pops it up. And now picked up by Abbott on a break. Abbott in a one on two here and 
Was not able to lift that one. Lanou covers it up. It will kill some time off the clock and have the face off down in Medway zone. That was a good break by Abbott. It's about the only way they're going to stop him is have two guys on him. <laughs> right. And even then, he's still got a good decent shot off. Sloan up against Anderson. Looked out in front. Let's take it away by Defonso, who will allow everyone to get placed. Coming up quickly is Norton. Over to the left corner, turned away by Lindquist. Put back by Anderson. Pillars have already killed off a couple power plays in this game, and now they have to kill another one off. 115 left on the Medway power play. Defonso along the far side. It's down towards Curley. Let's hit back up by Temple. 4.50 left to go in the second period. It remains a 1-0 Hopkinton lead. Up behind the net, De Cristoforo. Eric, I don't know if Medway's being aggressive enough on this power play. No, it seems like they're sitting back on the heels just waiting for something to happen instead of taking it to them when they had some momentum early on in the period. Right. De Cristoforo chases it down. Yeah, in the last power play, they were certainly a whole lot more aggressive. Jeremy Curley trying to work his way down the far side. Now chase down into the corner. John Walsh getting in there for the Hillers. Bonzo got a stick on it first. Now picked up by Curley. Curley on a quick break here. 20 seconds left on the power play. Up the far side goes Curley. And it looks like Temple lost a stick there. I don't know, that's the bad of his hand or he just kind of let it go. Yeah, that shot turned away a hard shot by Stover. And I don't know if they got a piece of Curley who was out in front of the net along that right circle. In the high slot, and that shot by Harrington turned away oh. by his own teammate, Curley. Fisher along the far side, puts it towards the corner. Trying to leave it out in front is Bullen. Good defensive work by the Hillers, and the power play is officially killed off. About three and a half left in the second period. O'Leary will cover that one up. Yeah, the Hillers doing a great job, uh, but I think they're gonna wanna try to limit Medway's chances here on the power play, because he's playing with fire. You get a team as good as Medway giving them uh, additional power plays. Yeah, that's three power plays killed now by the Hillers. One of those was not a full two minutes. Slowing up against Steinhoff. Left out in front, and O'Leary was able to cover it up. That was a huge save. That was an unbelievable save. Colin Curley thought he had the goal at first, but O'Leary somehow able to cover that one up. Yeah, Curley just cut right in and nobody picked him up. Lindquist puts it around to Abbott. Abbott lifts it up towards Simos. Good to see Simos back out there as he was a little shooken up after the penalty. Picked up by DeCristoforo. DeCristoforo up against Sloan. Puts it towards the corner. Abbott turns it away. Simos and Steinhoff now. Now into the corner goes Simos. Medway trying to establish possession here. With Stover comes around the net. Lifts it up towards the neutral zone. And that'll draw the icing. That's the Hillers have had a a couple of good chances here. The puck has had a couple of funny bounces tonight. They've had a couple of guys that looked like they were going to be free, and the puck has just hopped funny. They hit a, a chip on the ice or something and they've gone just awry of their stick. Line change for Medway. That one left out in front of the Medway net, and it's picked up by Bullen. Up the far side to Norton. Here comes Norton on a quick break, and he lifts that one, and it is turned away. Good speed there. O'Leary being put to work in this second period. I think he lifted that one just a little bit too high. Yeah, I don't know if it caught O'Leary in the shoulder pad. That's what uh, set it up and out of Yeah, but he was definitely ready for that one. But that was the opportunity there for Medway. Hillers have certainly had some 
Lucky breaks in the second period. Harrington up against Walsh. And now Hiller's going to switch it up, put Hamblett in there. Here comes Hamblett. Puts it up the board. Behind the net, Walsh. Walsh back to Hamblett. Hamblett back to Walsh. Now towards the trapezoid, taken by Harrington. On the far side now. Hamblett trying to chase it down. With the line stop Roschitz to turn it away and puts that out of play. 2-0-1 left in the second period. Yeah, so here's where the Hill is. They just want to be careful here. You do not want to give up any goals here with two minutes to go. You want to make sure that puck's getting in deep. You're not taking chances. Everyone's getting back to back check. Slowing up against Seinhoff. Abbott turned away by Lanou. De Cristoforo puts that up the near side boards. Maybe a quick break here, Gilbert. And that one left out in the slot. And that is going to be a goal, it looks like. No, Leary, Leary oh, no, he one. saved it. Yep. Wow, I thought that squirted between his legs there, but he was able to save it. It somehow turned into almost a three-on-one with Medway coming up. The Hillers have got to get back and back check. Yeah, Curley and Steinhoff were both in front of the net. I thought Steinhoff was able to poke it through. You know, Larry kind of had his head down. Another miracle save, I would say. Right now, the player of the game, if this score holds, is Dylan O'Leary. Up the far side, Stover. Handled by Gilbert. Left out in front of the backhander. O'Leary turns that one away on the sign-off attempt. Into the corner. That one off the side of the net. Still in play. Sanderson trying to put it back towards the slot. That one wide to the right. Shot from the blue line there by DeCristoforo. Here comes the Hillers up the near side. Sloan leaves it out in front. He was hoping that Simos would be able to get a shot on it. Less than a minute left to go in the second period. Larrick, I would say that despite not having a goal in this period, Medway has won this period. Yeah, this they point. definitely definitely picked up the pace, Tom, and the Hillers are uh, kind of a little bit back on the heels, and they want to go back to what they've been doing good all year long, and that's getting pucks in deep, establishing their forecheck, and hitting that open guy. Well, the other way you could say it is Dylan O'Leary has won the period. <laughs> this goaltender play has been outstanding in the second period. Hence why we still have the one nothing Hillers lead. Here comes the Mustangs, one last attack. And Walsh got a stick on it, but not before a whistle. Oh, I, I don't know about that call. He wasn't going to be short-handed again. Yeah, that was marginal. Temple heading to the box. Another two minutes on the power play for Medway. 39 seconds left in the period, however. Lifted up by Saparoschitz. Over to the Medway zone. De Cristoforo picks it up. Here comes Norton. The far side of DeFonso. Put back by Connor Delaney. De Cristoforo coming up the near side. On a break. Over to the right circle. Some good stick work there, but nice job by Abbott. Not allowing Dee Christopher to get the shot off. Five seconds left, and that is just about going to do it for the second period. A lot of great opportunities for the Medway Mustangs, but some outstanding play by Dylan O'Leary. Keeps Medway with a zero on the scoreboard. And after two, it's the Hillers leading Medway one to nothing. Eric, any thoughts on the second period? Uh, Medway definitely, definitely picked up their play, and the uh, they said the Hillers looked like they were just a little bit timid out there. Uh, come this third period, uh, main mission is going to be kill the rest of that penalty. I think, and then the Hillers got to get back to being a lot more aggressive. They got to play control con aggressive, so they're not giving up breaks the other way. But they're going to have to start taking it back to Medway you know, if they want to keep this uh, score what it is. They certainly will. You can't keep giving Medway that many opportunities to get some shots on net.
1-0 heading to the final 15 minutes of regulation. It's Hopkinton Hillers, Boys Varsity Hockey on H Camp. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love H Camp. Hey, I want to be Camp. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. Welcome back into the New England Sports Center in the wonderful Marlboro, Massachusetts. As we head to the third period between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Medway Mustangs, a win or tie for the Hillers means the TVL title. And right now they have a 1-0 lead, 15 minutes away from the TVL title. But Eric, the Mustangs certainly threatened big time in that second period. But thanks to Dylan O'Leary, it remains a scoreless game for Medway. Yes. So who wants it more now with 15 minutes to go? The student section is getting loud. A good Medway turnout as well. And we are underway in the third period as Di Cristoforo picks it up along the far side. Up to DeFonso, back to Di Cristoforo. And now it's over to Norton. Norton with the backhander to Di Cristoforo. Sloan trying to chase it down. Up the near side, DeFonso. Around the boards it goes. Into the Hiller zone. Turned away by Simos. Defonzo with the shot wide to the left. De Cristoforo rather with the shot. Another shot there from Defonzo along the near side. Larry being put to work early. Abbott trying to get the break along the far side. Pokes it around the boards. Chased down by Harrington. Mustang certainly going to have to be aggressive in this third period. Curley coming up towards the slot. No one there. Good defensive work by the Hillers. Top of the circle, DeFonzo. DeFonzo up against Sloan. And that's turned away. Abbott lifts it up. Pulled down by DeCristoforo. Puts it off the boards. Midway will change up a couple players. It's about going to kill off the power play, Tommy. Survive that one. Yep. Hillers have done very well against the three power plays tonight. Up the near side, Afonso. Afonso into the corner. He's met up with Lindquist. Over to the far side corner, chased down by Bullen. Turned away by Temple. Simos puts that up towards Abbott. Abbott looking for the break. Into the right circle, the shot, and it's diverted by Afonso. Afonso got a stick out in front of Abbott. Wow, yeah, and, the Abbott's gonna yeah. go for a penalty here. And Medway's gonna do the same thing, pull their goalie aside and take advantage. And now we'll have a whistle and a Hiller will head to the box once again. Hiller's power play kill really being put to the test here today. And it's gonna be Abbott. They got him with that slash behind the net. Fourth opportunity on a power play for Medway. James Anderson up against DJ Sloan. Medway 0 for 3 on the power play so far. Here comes Sloan. Lifts that around the boards. And now jams it up in the corner and he's gonna hold it there for as long as possible. Let that power play clock run. Nice job by Sloan just burning the time off. And he has possession still along that corner as he does battle with Fisher. Sloan jams up along the corner. His teammates are loving it, but now coming away is Anderson. He burned a good 30 seconds off that power play. Yeah, great, great play there. Anderson up the near side into the left circle, meets up with Lindquist and ends up falling and slamming hard into the board. Stop of the circle, Larry has to turn that one away. Still alive off the Stover's shot. Now up along the corner. That's poked out by Lindquist out of the possession of a Mustang. It was Bullen who had it. And now put around the boards, and that'll burn even more time off the power play. Less than a minute left to go. Stover along the near side, leaves it out for Harrington. Harrington collides with Simos. 
Uh, Harrington with possession over to the slot. Looking for the shot there. Good defensive work. Back to the blue line. That's put over to the right circle. And now around the net we go. As Curley ends up falling. Back to the left circle to Norton. Norton lifts that one up and O'Leary has to cover it up. Yeah, a lot of players tonight slipping. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if there's some bad ice or people got some bad skates, but a lot of players going down tonight. Yeah, I mean, the ice, I mean, it doesn't look too, too choppy, maybe a little bit. I wonder if as the hockey season goes on, this ice just gets beat up from so much activity on it. Yeah, that's part of it. And this rink is the number one rink where all the big games are, too. So a lot of good skaters on this ice. Midway looking for a shot here. De Cristofora puts it to the near side. 12 seconds left on the power play. Left that in front. O'Leary is able to somehow save that one. Mustangs still have it. That one lifted up too high by De Cristoforo. Went off of O'Leary's right leg pad, and then he was able to get a glove on it to punch it away. And the power play has officially been killed. Oh, they're going to call another one here. Oh, aye, aye. boy. Wow. Simo's heading to the box. You kill one off, and now it's time for another. Yeah, I, you know, that one, again, it just real borderline questionable in a game like this is, you know, you want to see the kids play it. And a couple of them early on were definites, but the last couple have been I certainly questionable. I've never seen so many penalties called in the game all season. Mustangs with an opportunity. O'Leary turns that one away. Hillers once again back to work against the Medway power play. Back-to-back -back power plays for the Mustangs as that one's lifted in front of us. Well, yeah, Leary just... Uh, the cameraman Mike Terosian almost had a souvenir <laughs> there. Well, Leary coming up big on the counts, too. He certainly is. Right now, Dylan O'Leary, by far the player of the game. <laughs> DJ Sloan up against Nate Steinhoff. Hunter Delaney trying to knock that one down the near side, and it's kept up by Anderson. Over to the corner we go. Into the jam is Connor Delaney. Medway has it. Left out into the slot and turned away by Abbott. Abbott on a quick break. He's going to hold on to it as long as possible. A minute and a half left on the power play. Around the net it goes. A Stover will get a hold of it. Stover coming up the near side. Puts it towards Dwyer. Dwyer around Sloan. Looking for the shot here, wide to the right. Goes Anderson. Now that's back towards the Fonzo. Approaching 10 minutes left in this third period. It's been back-to-back -back power plays for Medway, but the Hillers still have the one nothing lead, but they are really being put to work defensively here. One more back in there, Tom. Three. <laughs> <laughs> There's Harrington over to the blue line, and a Christopher puts it wide to the left. That's knocked up into the Medway zone. Nice play there. Handled by De Cristoforo. Working against Temple. Temple not letting De Cristoforo away easily. Temple sticking with it. And now he'll back off a little. 25 seconds left on the power play. Nice job by Temple allowing power play time to burn off. Defonso up the near side. Fonzo up against Temple. And it's back over to De Cristoforo. He goes around the boards. Into the corner. And poked out briefly by Norton. That'll do it for the penalty. Yeah, now it's jammed up once again. Another power play killed off by the Hillers, and they have a break coming up the near side. Hamlet with the wrister. And that one, I believe, went off the side. It hit the crossbar. Right. That would have been huge. That would have been quite a retaliation after those two power plays. Hillers with possession behind the net, and Walsh puts that one off of Lanou. And now another opportunity here. Simos, a whistle. The hand pass. And that'll send it back to the Hillers zone. Now what the Hillers want to do now, Tom, they just want to settle it down. They have to kill off those three penalties. They, they want to get back, get some zone time, give the defenseman and forwards and penalty kill a little rest. Well, they've certainly done some miraculous defensive work against the power play. They've had to kill off 
if my calculations are correct, five power plays here today. Up the far side, Simos. It's picked up by Stover. Back to Saporoshitz. And to Simos. Now Abbott on a break to the left circle. He goes. Leaves out into the slot. Slow looking for the shot. It's just a little bit too high. And Saporoshitz and Curley met up along the far side. Medway working back into the Hiller zone. Turned away by Saporoshitz. And that'll draw the whistle. Yeah, good to see the Hill is staying aggressive here. The one thing you don't want to do with a one nothing lead is, is play defensively and sit back. You want to play smart defensively, but you want to be aggressive too in order to get some breaks and keep the puck down the Medway end. After all these power plays you had to kill off, you would hate to give up a goal in the final eight minutes. Sean Walsh up against McCarthy. Over to the blue line, looking for the shot here. The wrister, that's wide to the right, but it's still along the corner. Curley was trying to get the secondary shot off, turned away by a defender. Great job out in front of the net by Lindquist and Saporoshitz, as that one's put wide to the right. Now jammed up along the corner. Number of players in there for both teams. Up the near side we go. Picked up by Fisher. Along the far side, Walsh. Walsh. Lindquist. Flips it over to, towards Hamlet. And now we'll get a whistle. I think we're going to have a penalty here. A little makeup call for the Hillers. <laughs> now the Hillers will go on the power play, and they scored once today on a power play. Off in the Medway zone. It'll be DJ Sloan and Dan Harrington. Now we're wrapped up by Lanou. We'll have another face off. Hiller's now on the power play. And they could uh, really start to see the TVL title if they're able to take advantage of it. 7 10 left to go. In regulation, the official coming over to the scores table here. A great opportunity for the Hillers here to um, they can take advantage of this one. I think they're just straightening out who the penalty was on. DJ Sloan on the faceoff for the Hillers. Here we go. Medway has to play keep away now. Back to the neutral zone, Connor Delaney. Across to the far side of Lindquist. Back to Delaney. Delaney puts it up the boards towards Simos. Simos trying to leave it in the slot for Sloan. Top of the circle. That went off of Lanou. That was a shot by Connor Delaney from the top of the right circle. Lanou coming up big there. Abbott risks this one, and it's diverted by a defender. Harrington got in the way. O'Leary will set it up. Here comes Connor Delaney back to Abbott. Abbott on a break. Abbott to the right circle, wrists that one, and Lanou is able to get a glove on that one, I believe. Up the far side it goes. O'Leary comes way out to set it up, and he'll have to put it to the near side. Jammed up along the corner, 50 seconds left on the power play. Sloan trying to come away with it, working against Afonso. Abbott on the left circle, wrist that one, and it's turned away by Lanou, and then the defender, Brian Bullen, able to get a stick on it. Hillers get it back. Sloan puts it towards the trapezoid, picked up now on the side of the circle by Saporoshitz. Up the far side we go. Couple good looks there for the Hillers, but Lanou came up big. Abbott. And Simos was trying to put it back towards Abbott. Sloan with possession. Here comes Sloan. Up the near side. Trying to leave that one. Out in front, that's a goal! DJ Sloan handling that one. He did not have much room to put that, but he put it right where it had to go. Medway 
thought that he was going to go to Abbott, but Sloan had him all fooled, and he was able to risk that one right in past Lanou to make it two to nothing, Hillers. Five minutes, 15 seconds left in the third period, and the Hillers can smell the TVL title. What a shot by DJ Sloan, and he's had a couple of great shots tonight. But he gets that one to fall and gives the Hillers just a little bit of comfort. Up the far side, Saporoshitz. Behind the net, picked up by Gilbert. Up back to the neutral zone, here's Stover. And O'Leary trying to cover that one up. Gilbert up towards Temple. Picked up now by Steinhoff. Sign off, meets up with Hamlet. I'm going to give Will Abbott the assist as well. It's Abbott's second point of the game. 42 overall on the season for Will Abbott. As Connor Delaney lifts that one up and Lanou has to cover it. For DJ Sloan, he now has 12 goals on the season. 15 assists, 27 points. That was just some good work there by Abbott and Sloan. You can see the defenders the whole time. They're just looking at Abbott. Yeah, those two work really well together. I don't think they respected the speed of Sloan to the outside. And the shot, of course, just a beauty. 4.15 and counting left to go in regulation. Up the near side we go. That's picked up by Connor Delaney and put out of play. And they put that out towards the scorer's box. Box stop with 4.03 left. Well, the two goals in this game both have come from the Hillers. One with 11.41 left to go in the first period. It was Will Abbott off a Hunter Temple assist. And then with 5.15 left in this third, T.J. Sloan with a beauty and a Will Abbott assist. Abbott up behind the net. Miller is now pretty much just going to play keep away. In possession, Fisher. Connor Delaney gets a shot on it. Turned away by Lanou. Left out in the slot, and that was nearly a third goal there. Top of the circle goes Lindquist. Wide to the left. Popped up back to the neutral zone. Simos puts that one down the boards. That's lifted back up by Fisher. Now here comes Norton. Norton over to Harrington. Back to the corner. Abbott trying to dig it out. Lindquist just going to hang on to it. Pops it off the boards. Letting the clock run down. Abbott with an opportunity here. On the left circle, Arister and Lanou wraps it up. Just a smart play there. He knew he didn't really have anybody open, so he threw it to the boards enough so that it wouldn't be icing. And Abbott was able to skate in and pick that up. So the the Hillers, they know how to play with a lead, so they're, just playing, they're playing real smart hockey right now. They certainly are. And they have had pretty much full control in this third period. They've killed off two power plays in this period, back to back. And they have found the net to make it a 2-0 game, but still three minutes left. Steinhoff up the far side, into the right circle. Got a shot off, another save by O'Leary, and we'll have a whistle. Net came off. We'll have a face-off in the Hillers zone. But you got to give all kinds of credit to Dylan O'Leary today. Right, he's come up big. This could very well be a 2-2 game or 3-2 or deficit for the Hillers. But O'Leary's made some really huge oh. saves tonight. He's had some miraculous saves today. Medway is leading in the shots on goal, 22-18. As we'll get another face-off. So I look for some point soon here. Medway's probably going to pull the goalie, look, look for the extra attacker because they need two goals. And the Hillers have had 18 shots on goal. That's about the average they've had this season. So pretty standard. But they typically do not let up this much. But thanks to some great defensive play and great goaltender play, they hold their lead. Abbott leaves it out in the slot. Simos trying to put it through, and it's stopped by Lanou. And the net came out as well. 
228 left, and we'll have a face-off in the Medway zone. Well, the Mustangs, I mean, they had plenty of opportunities. They had four full two-minute power plays, and they were unable to score on any of them. Fisher up behind the net. Up the near side. Yeah, when you get two evenly matched teams, it usually comes down to the special teams. The Hill is with two power play goals, and Medway not able to capitalize on their chances. Yep. Over to the right circle. And now it's picked up by Sloan. Sloan and Abbott working up ice. Sloan up the far side. Pops it around the defenseman. Now DeFonso picks it up. Makes it back to the blue line. Turned away by Simos. Over to the corner we go. Abbott jammed up along the near side corner. A couple of Mustangs in the area. Abbott ends up getting knocked down to the ice. Puck pops out along the far side. Handled by Connor Delaney, who will drop it and get the slapper on it. Handled by Lanou, picked up by Fisher. Fisher up the near side. Jammed up along the boards by Temple. One and a half minutes left to go in this game. Hillers with a 2-0 lead. Less than 90 seconds away from clinching the TVL title. Temple matched up with Curley in the slot. Now Anderson trying to dig it out. I'm really surprised here, Tom. Medway's not pulling the goalie. So I think they're conceding the loss here. Right. Temple leaves that one for Hamblet. Now along the far side, Walsh. Walsh puts it around the boards, and we'll get a whistle. I think we have an icing. Indeed we will. Face off in the Hiller zone. Now the Medway goaltender will come out. So the Mustangs will have the one-man advantage. Timeout. And we'll have a timeout first with 56.1 seconds left to go in the third period. Hillers leading two to nothing on the Mustangs. Eric, what a performance it was tonight by the Hop, uh, by the Hillers. It wasn't so much their offense, obviously, but their defensive play and the goaltending play, that made the ultimate difference in this game. Exactly, yeah, you know, you, that's when you know you've got a good team, when you don't have everything clicking, and you know these guys can score goals, and like I said, it wasn't quite the best offensive show they've had all year, but they have the defense play the way they did, having the forwards come back and back check, uh, having Dylan O'Leary come up big, uh, that just shows what a good, well-rounded team they are. And they certainly are very well-rounded, all facets of the game. The Mustangs had so many opportunities to try to get a goal, they had Many great shots on net. Some of the saves that Dylan O'Leary made tonight were just incredible. Yeah, it's going to be fun to watch on the replay. But the Hillers, they want to come up big here. They want to make sure they're picking up every man on a faceoff here because one goal quick for Midway still gives them an outside shot. Right. There's still 56 seconds left. Anything can happen. Six on five. Medway has pulled their goaltender. Sloan on the faceoff. Lindquist knocks it down. Simos got the stick on it towards the net. And icing. Not quite enough snow down there to slow that puck down. 47.9. It's getting there, though. <laughs> this, this ice is looking uh, more and more rough as the season goes on. Still in pretty good condition, but you see a lot more players tripping up, though. I feel, since the season started. Abbott coming down the far side, looking for the shot here. Lifts that one just a little bit too high. Hit the crossbar. Norton along the near side, now coming up Harrington. 30 seconds left to go in regulation. Put around the far side board, Connor Delaney gets the stick on it. Defonso is there. That's turned back and then goes off of Harrington. And we will have a face-off in the neutral zone. He's knocked out of play off of Harrington. DJ Sloan up against Dan Harrington. Crowd starting chance of TVL for the Hillers. And what a TVL run it's been for the Hopkinton Hillers. An extremely tough division 
or an extremely tough league as we've been talking about all season long. But the Hillers, they have met every bit of competition. And that's going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers have clinched the TBL title as they defeat the Medway Mustangs two to nothing. The Hillers now 15-2 and one on the season. And they are your TVL champions. What an unbelievable performance here today against the Mustangs, your players of the game. Certainly Dylan O'Leary has to be in the mention. Will Abbott with an assist and a goal. And DJ Sloan also with a goal. Hunter Temple had an assist for the Hillers. And it was great defensive work and great goaltending that set the Hillers aside and allowed them to come away with the two to nothing victory. Eric, it's been a great season so far for the Hillers and hopefully it'll only get better from here on out. But what an amazing accomplishment clinching the TVL title this year. Yeah, great, you know, making school history, that's the first title for the Hill hockey team. And uh, you know, this team has definitely deserved it. They've worked hard all year. This is their third straight shutout in a row. Uh, so this team's got the, the makings to go deep into the playoffs. Well, they have the TVL title, but of course they have their eyes on a bigger prize, and we'll certainly see if they're able to capture one of those bigger prizes as the season continues on. They got one more regular season game left, and then it's time for the playoffs. But the Hopkinton Hillers, an amazing accomplishment. They are the TVL champions as they take down the Medway Mustangs two to nothing. For Mike Terosian on camera, my broadcast partner, Eric Carty, I'm Tom Nappy. You have been watching Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you soon, everybody.